So my parents, when I started, they thought that I'm chatting with a guy and they'll be advising me that you better stop chatting, better look for something to do. These Nigerian parents, they, they don't believe in non like they believe in you working for yourself and um, making money for yourself. They know that, okay, if you are working for yourself with your aunt, if you have a skill, uh, that's what is money. But gradually, when they, they started seeing that, I'll be making a lot of money from this so-called online store. So they started supporting me that, okay, these are not my especially my dad. Our next guest is Mary. Mary is an economics graduate who says that nine to five is a big no-no for her. She says that she doesn't even last more than five days when she works in a traditional corporate firm. So right now, Mary is an online networker who also runs uh, a very successful online financial academy with over 300 students who want to learn how to invest and, you know, find other ways to get extra income. Let's hear from her. Thank you so much, uh, Mary, for joining us on the show today. Thank you. You're welcome. Um, Mary, can you share with us, you know, when you started your online academy and, you know, why you also decided to become a networker? What was that? What motivated you or what triggered you to uh, take up that decision? Okay, thank you. Um, my name is Mary. I'm a CEO of Kemet Academy. So actually, my journey started, let just say my journey started when I was still in school. So I got level to be sick precise. There was, a, there was this guy I do call Big Brother. Is it all this um, crypto stuff? That's a cryptocurrency and it makes a lot of money from it. So he told me that this crypto, this, this is where he's, he used to make his money to feed his family, that he's not even working for anybody, that is his boss or, on its own. I was like, how oh, is that possible? Because then when I wanted to enter school, my thinking is that, okay, after this, um, after my education, I'll just go out and look for a job, like normal, uh, normal thinking that some students will. So I started getting interested in, in wanting to know more about what he's doing. So he started um, um, putting me through, and when I discovered that this is really, really getting interested, because how will you just sit at home and work, like be working for home without any stress, without someone shouting that, where is the document, where have you been, stuff like that. So he came um, late to work. Like there's a piece of mind attached to it. I was like, wow, this is getting interesting. As a graduate like in, in Nigeria and all everyone sees you doing is pressing your phone, you know, on your laptop. How do people react like your family when they see you doing that or your friends? Do they think you're jobless? Do they think you're just online, you know, having fun or just playing games? How, what have people, what has been people's reactions towards the career path that you took? Okay, actually, my parents, you know, all these Nigerian parents, they will think that if a lady is online with his, with her phone, it starts with a guy, normally. So my parents, when I started, they thought that I'm chatting with a guy and they will be advising me that you better stop chatting, better look for something to do. So I was telling them, no, that I'm not actually chatting with a guy. I don't even have time for that. Actually, I'm sourcing for updates. I'm sourcing for uh, more updates on how to make more money or for myself, then now I don't have my academy. So when I started, it wasn't easy to do. Let me just say it wasn't easy, but gradually, when they, they started seeing that, I'll be making a lot of money from this so-called online store. So they started supporting me that, okay, these are not that my, especially my dad, he will tell me what to do and what not to do on online store so that I can easily, like, I can easily not, not mislead my students, what you get. So my, uh, my friends too, they discuss all these my all my friends. Let me just say all my friends that I'll be I'll be with. They are also also into all these online stuff. So they understand the process. So anytime I'm with my phone, they will know that okay, he's really sourcing for update or he's really trying to make money or like hope you get. So now let me just say the problem now is for my parents. You know all these Nigerian parents, they, they don't believe in non like they believe in you working for yourself. Um, making money for yourself, they know that okay, if you are working for yourself with your aunt, if you have a skill, uh, that's what is money. But all these online stuff, it, maybe it's just like it's like a scam to them, it's like a scam to them. So it was when I it was when I started showing them, proving them wrong that no, you see all these online stuff, all online business is very very easy because you are going to stay in your house just with your phone or laptop, and your if you have a good internet connection, that's just it. People, you, you shared with me that you are not even able to stay in a corporate job. You cannot be employed in a normal office for more than five days. 
And I hear there's some people that say, oh, Gen Zs, they are very entitled. Oh, they don't like authorities. Or when they are working in the night to five, they don't even, you know, they are not serious. You know, we have all these jokes about, have you even seen the kind of mail that Gen Zs send? What is your response to people who feel like, you know, Gen Zs do not like hard work? What would be your response to that? Okay, actually, um, let me do, let me use myself for as, as an example now. I'm someone, I don't really like hard work. I just like, my, I just want a soft life. I explained, like, I told you that when I, I decided to work for someone, like, okay, let me just try working for someone. Let me see, maybe I can cope. So I applied for a job, um, a, a five to nine working job. So I started, when I started, I did use up to five days. I learned, I, I can't cope. I can't cope. Maybe because um, it's not my thing. I like being my boss. I like controlling what I want to do. I like control. Like, not, not that I like controlling people, but I like controlling what I want. Not that someone will just come and start shouting or start doing sort, sort of, you know how people behave. No, I'm not interested. 